student that today I am going to revise that the third chapter from your history book that has about the Indus Valley Civilization. So one thing first I want to clear to you that for the first unit test that these chapters that we have to be learned properly that first from the history from the history is the chapter 1, 2 and 3. Chapter 1 is the Mesodermate Civilization Chapter 2 is the Egyptian civilization and chapter 3 is the Indus Valley civilization. And from geography, chapter 1 and chapter 2. So this total 5 chapter. That is the first one about the representation of the art and the second one is the landform. So this total 5 chapters that you have to be learned properly. This one is your exam, your syllabus for the first unit. So this 5 chapter that you have to be prepared properly. This total, this total 5 chapters. This week from this three chapter geography, this two chapter. Now today we will discuss about the Indus Valley Civilization. So we already discussed it before. Now again, the few things I want to be highlight that you have to be learning that majorly that what are the things that is the, from the source. Every civilization that we have to learn the two things first. That what is the source from where we will able to know that about the but many information from this civilization. So what are the source of this civilization? That already is the archaeological sources there definitely because when the many archaeologists they have to find out the sources are two types that is the archaeological sources and the literal sources. First one is the archaeological sources means when the things that after digging the soil when the people get many items or the many things from inside the so from interior from the soil and they use it for the uh, they get the many information from these things. And also, there are some written information. Those are the people they written some book. Like here in the Indus Valley Civilization, the, those are the books they have written the many peoples. From there also, we can get the more information about it. And the tooth name that is the first, the Dharam Sahani, in the year of 1921, that the city of Harappa that is discovered by him. What is the name? Dharam Sahani, in the year of 1921. In that year, he invented, he discovered the city of Harappa. And the second one is the Rakhal Das Banerjee. In the year of 1922, that time he discovered the city of Mahenjodal. Okay, so these two things are very important. That first one is the Dharam Sahani, he discovered the city of Harappa in the year of 1921. And the second one is the, uh, which are the name of the Rakhal Das Banerjee. He discovered the Mahenjodal city in the year of 1922. Now, again the next things that we have to learn that why the Indus Valley Civilization is also known as Harappan Civilization. Now, what is the answer? Why the Indus Valley Civilization is known as the Harappan Civilization? Because the Indus Valley Civilization, in this Indus Valley Civilization, the large area, so the first city that discovered in this civilization, that is the Harappa city. That got this name only. For the name of this, this one the first discovered city. So from this name, the Indus Valley Civilization is also known by the name of Harappan Civilization. So understand that? Now, for the names, the many things are there, like from the which sites, that what is the meaning of Mahanjula? The meaning of Mahanjula is the mound of day. Now, the next one is the, uh, what is the, where the Mahanjula is located? Beside the river Indus. And the Harappan Civilization is located beside the river Ravi. And also, that is uh, what is about the society division. They are uh, society division, they are dresses for the men, women, what type of the dresses they are supposed to wear, how they make them enjoy themselves from the recreations, when the people they should meet some women for their prayer, mind freshing also, so they how they enjoy on that time, they reckon they didn't have any internet, mobile phone they didn't have. But the, between them only they have to play in some games, they are making the art craft things by the by the mud, they have to play with this. So by this way they have to make enjoyment between themselves. Uh, next is the urbanization, that their city, town planning. They are, their city divided into two parts. The uppermost part of their city is known as the citadel, where the most of the administrative buildings or the granary, great bath, this all are being located. And the downward part is called the lowland, that where the poor, the, the farmer type of people they are living. And in the citadel portion, those are the king, the ruler, or the merchant, those are very high. Um, they have the proper rich people, they are living on that portion. And the three major things from here, the three short note that we have to prepare. The first one is the about the great gallery. First short note about the great gallery. Okay. Second one is the assembly hall. 
and the third one is the grade bath. These three points you have to prepare the short note for me. About write about something the great canary, write a short note about it, write a short note about the town planning or the assembly hall, write a short note about the uh, great birth. So this three short note is very important. You should prepare it. This three short note. Okay? And the next is about the drainage system that is given in the page number 34. Let's discuss point in downward. Afterward, you can see one paragraph is there. This full paragraph about the drainage system in the Indus Valley Civilization. That is one of the famous uh, unique features of the Indus Valley Civilization. That is the drainage system. So these things you have to mention here. And also about the agriculture, why the agriculture was the main occupation in Indus Valley peoples. The same things that because Indus Valley Civilization is also located beside the river and the river always deposits the sand, silt and alluvium soil on the banks of the rivers. So it's generally the land is very fertile for the agriculture process. So for that reason, the agriculture only the main occupation for the Indus Valley Civilization people. And the structure about these short questions, their seal, why the seal is important. Because from the seal we get the many information that on that time, how the peoples they been uh, export, import from which place and also what are the things they use for their export, import purpose. Okay. And uh, also about the achievement, that is one of the main things. Achievement, what are the things that are discovered by the Indus Valley people. The first one is the unit of measurement, town planning, expansion of trade script. Between them the town planning this point is very important. That have to learn properly this town planning point. This is one of the unique feature for the Indus Valley civilization. That on that time only the first civilization that have the city or town, they have the urban area. In the uh, in the history that the Indus Valley civilization is the first civilization, the civilization is made up by the cities and town. And what is the reason for the declination also? That every three civilization, their declination have to be learned. That Mesopotamian civilization, their declination, Egyptian civilization also, Indus Valley civilization also. Their declination results are have to be learned properly. You have to write with the using the sub points. Okay? And uh, these are the things and the exercise inside those are the questions that they are they are here to be learned. And one more thing I want to say that uh, from the geography, from the geography, and those are the diagrams like the different parts of a river with the labeling and the description. This one, either the fold or the uh, fold mountain, block mountain, anticline, syncline. Uh, for Rift Valley, they are picture that have to be practiced. These pictures are also become in exam. So these are the pictures also, diagram also you have to be practiced. So I hope you have to read well and have to study for good. So best of luck.